now that we got our domain locked down and we own it, we bought it, it's $14 a month or whatever it was for you. Now we have to do another step of actually just verify it real quick. So you head into your email, you verify it. And this way uh, you don't get put into flag mode and, and everything appears on there. So you improve it real quick. I've seen people actually miss this step before and uh, it actually did, it messed them up a little bit there. So all you got to do is just go in there and uh, verify it. Will be suspended if verification is not complete. So just verify your information. So it's verified, real simple, just do that. Um, and then we're going to be setting up two professional emails right now. We're going to be setting up the support and we're going to be setting up the team email. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add another account. We want to actually create, fill it out. Uh, for the store and everything attached to the store is going to be under the Google Voice number. Uh, we're going to cover that in a later video. Uh, not super important right here. You can just put your regular phone number. Now, like we said before, I'm probably getting repetitive, um, but you, you know, you got to hear it a bunch of times before it actually sticks. The reason we're going to be creating two different emails is because we want our support email, like where the customer service complaints and questions are coming into, we want that to be completely separate from our team email, where we're like signing up for different services and we're getting different newsletters and uh, where our invoices and stuff come to. We want that to be separate completely. Because we don't want to mix that up because if you mix if you mix up that support one then a lot of times you're going to miss a lot of stuff like for i i, I try my best to uh, check my email every day and i try to get over and handle everything and read all the emails and open them up at least but you know, the reality is, is a lot of the times that doesn't happen so uh when, when you split these up you can at least make your support email your priority so that's all set there now actually let's set up the professional business part of the email if you're on your home screen, you're going to go down to online store, domains. Gonna click on our domain name and you create your professional emails directly within here. So uh, for these ones, you know, just delete them. You don't need those. Okay, so we're going to add a forward in. So the first one, uh, we'll just create. Yeah, we'll create team. And we're going to be our very first email that we put in at gmail.com okay now that's all set add an additional forwarding email oh, that's... so this is going to be support do that one's different and then we click save but that's it it's it's not too bad now you have your professional email set up and uh, your store domain name and everything is verified you're ready to go let's head on over to the next step